Thanks for checking out the One Unknown Equation Solver for MathCelebrity.com. I'm going to show you a bunch of examples that you can type your equation directly into the search engine. We'll start with something like this. And you, you can put spaces in there. You don't have to have them. Press the calculator return key. So this is a simple two-step equation. First we move the 9 over the other side, and then we divide by the 2. Now, if you're on the calculator, you can enter your equation directly. Let's say we had something like 3x equal to 90. We press solve. And this is just a one step. Divide by 3 and we solve. Now, we could also enter that into the search engine. And you see we get the same answer. Here is a list of equations and or inequalities that you can enter. These are examples. So we can actually do, we'll do an absolute value one. And again, you don't need, you can have spaces, you don't need them. Uh, we'll change some numbers around too. We'll do 60. Calculator return key. And with the absolute value equation, we have sets up two equations. Solves for your two possible values of x. You scroll back up so you can see all the math. And we're done. We could have also typed in something. And you don't have to, one thing to know, you don't have to use x. You can use any variable. So we'll do 9w equals 999. So it solves for the two possible values of W, 111 and negative 111. Let's go back to our shortcut list. Oh, we can also solve for um, two-step square root equations as well. So we'll do something like 2y squared equals 100, which is 50. So we can get a whole number answer. Press the calculator or return key. So the first thing the calculator does is isolate the y squared. And we take the square root of it. And it kind of showed you two ways to get your answer. Let's go into another slightly more difficult square root equation. We'll do something like this. This will be a few steps. So what this is, is it's raising the entire term 4x plus 10 raised to the second power and set it equal to 400. We'll press the calculator or return key. So the first thing the calculator does is take the square root of each side. And we get it down to this equation. Then we get rid of the 10 on the left side. And finally our answer. You can also do inequalities on this lesson. So we could have done something like 3x squared equals 27. 3x squared less than 27. So it'll find your two ways to find the square root if it is a whole number, and it gives you your final answer. One other nice feature of this lesson is you can actually enter a bunch of terms if they're all the same power. So we'll do an equation for this example. So we've got two y terms on this side, three constants, two y terms on this side, and two constants. Let's actually add one more constant. Let's do 9y. I'm sorry, one more variable term. Let's calculate our return key. 
So it groups the y terms on the left side and the constant terms. The y terms on the right side and the constant terms. And then it forms a modified equation, step five. Groups the variables, cancels and simplifies, and get your answer. So it's a pretty powerful calculator. And I'm going to go back one more time to the shortcuts tab. So these are all the types of equations or inequalities that you can enter. So for instance, this could have been any variable. This could have been a positive or negative constant in any variable. Now if you're doing square root equations, I didn't, I didn't show this one. Let me do this one. We use SQRT for the square root and then parentheses. So this is going to be 2 times the square root of 4x. So that's going to be the square root of this entire expression here. Press the calculator or return key. I'm going to square both sides, eliminate the radical. Isolate your variable, which in this case is x. And we get our 25. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments, please use the contact us link. Thanks for watching.